Twisted is a virtual storm chasing game that is free to play on the Roblox platform. In the game, realistic storms can develop based on several parameters. On July 7th, 2022, an above average forecast was projected to occur throughout the day, with a high risk for severe weather being issued for the state of Kasoda. The thermodynamics forecasted for the day included a high temperature of 101 degrees Fahrenheit, a dew point of 85 degrees Fahrenheit, a humidity of 61%, lapse rates of 8.7 degrees Celsius per kilometer, and a cape reaching as high as 4,040 joules per kilogram. It wasn't long until storms would pop up across the state of Kasoda, and warnings would soon be broadcasted by the National Weather Service in Hazleton. The National Weather Service in Hazleton has issued a tornado warning for Beltrami County in Southeast Kisoda, Wadena County in Southeast Kisoda, until 2.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Wanaska, or two miles east of Hibbing, and moving northeast at 51 miles per hour. In addition, at Wanaska a rotating wall cloud was reported by train spotters at 12 p.m. Central Daylight Time with this storm. This storm has a history of producing marble-sized hail as well. Locations impacted include Wanaska, Helma, Nateville, Hiram, take cover now, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building, avoid windows, if in a mobile home, a vehicle or outdoors, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. National Weather Service in Hazleton has issued a tornado warning for Beltrami County in Southeast Kisoda, Wadena County in Southeast Kisoda until 4.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Hiram, or three miles east-southeast of Hazleton, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation, hazard, damaging tornado, source, Weather spotters confirm tornado impact. You are in a life-threatening situation. Flying debris may be deadly to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be destroyed. Considerable damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles is likely, and complete destruction is possible. The tornado will be near Hiram around 2 p.m. Central Daylight Time, including the following road within a 48 county between Kisota 53 and 41. A large and extremely dangerous tornado is on the ground. Take immediate tornado precautions. This is an emergency situation.
for Wadena County and Southeast Keysota, Cherokee County and Southeast Keysota, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Doppler radar and storm spotters were tracking a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Wadena and Chandler. Doppler radar showed this tornado moving northeast at 33 miles per hour. This is a tornado emergency for Wadena and Cherokee County. This includes Wadena, Chandler, and Andrusia. Take cover now. Locations impacted include Wadena, Chandler, and Andrusia. This is an extremely dangerous tornado with complete devastation likely. You could be killed if not underground or in a tornado shelter. Do not delay. Seek shelter now. If no underground shelter is available, seek shelter in an interior room of the lowest level of a structure. Or if time allows, consider moving to an underground shelter elsewhere. Mobile homes without buildings will offer no shelter from this tornado. Repeating, a tornado warning has been issued until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in Kisoda, Wadena, and Cherokee. What you see now shows the impact the tornado had based on damage assessments. Blue indicates EF0 damage, green indicates EF1, yellow as EF2, orange as EF3, red as EF4, and pink as EF5. The first major point of interest for damage includes the small town of Haram, where every single building received EF4 damage. An interesting thing that was found in the remains of Wadena includes these five single-story homes on the northwestern side of town. These homes received EF2 and EF3 damage, despite being located either just outside or barely inside of the tornado's windfield. This leads us to believe that the tornado's windfield was significantly larger than what was shown in-game. Another interesting find in Wadena includes this two-story residential home, receiving high-end EF3 damage, while identical houses in the same vicinity were categorized as EF4, having their slabs swept clean. 
the town of Chandler would receive the most EF5 damage. Every single structure was thoroughly flattened apart from two commercial buildings. Overall, this tornado was recorded at being two miles wide, and the damage suggests that the path could have been much wider. The highest recorded wind speeds on this tornado were 270 miles per hour, and this was moments before Chandler was impacted by the center of the funnel. Well then, that is it. This video took quite a while to put together, but if you have enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.